so we're apparently in the biggest Starbucks. This is Starbucks. Oh, no, I'm no, I'm just taking a video. She got the whole flight. Yeah, avocado um, flight and tiramisu, and I'm waiting for my olive cake and caramel macchiato. I see it. It's over there. I know, I saw the olive cake and I was like, I have to have it, even though I'm not that hungry. I took a bite out of that one, and it's not as good as one in Boston. Low key, this is kind of creepy, but we're in the American Girl store. Kind of creepy. Okay, made it to the lake. I'm so ready to go home. Well, there's actually people like swimming and jumping off into the pier. is pick up only so now we have to find a different location that does sit in it's so sunny and how okay so the next location is going to be in downtown which is like an hour away from what we're saying mm. okay so we made it to Portillo this location has to sit in 245 and so let's see how good the food is. Okay, so we got our food burger, hot dog, salad, cake, and chocolate shake and cheese fries. Low key, sweet tea is not that good. But. Finished. That was pretty good. I got the chicken sandwich and that was really good. And now we need to go find a bathroom. Wow. Alright, we'll see you when I find the next bathroom because it's hot and sunny now. Tour in about 30 45 minutes or so. It'll be 
be like one of those ships down there. So windy. There's two pier entrances. It could be this one or it could be the next one. Probably the next one. No, no, like it's at a different, different entrance. Oh. Apple pot, a hot pocket. Take a pick any one of those. That's River Point. Curved entrance and top reflects the curve of the river to the right that will make it. And our last contextualist building is that Y shaped one on the left, 150 North Riverside. Now the Y pays tribute to where we are because Wolf Point, where the three branches of the river meet, literally makes a Y if you look at a map of Chicago. So the Y pays tribute to the Y at the Y. That's why. Hope that makes sense. Great photo a little bit behind us, but that L train crossing to Chicago. Brutal appearance like you might think. It's actually the material it's made of. Brutalism comes from the French term beton brut. means raw concrete. So that material is the giveaway. In fact, Marina City that we just saw, also brutalism. Two very different designs, but both made of raw concrete. A little lower to the left is Chicago's Riverwalk. Fairly no 